Sheikha Lubna al Qasimi has spent much of her life breaking down political and business barriers in the male dominated Middle East. She's the first woman to hold a cabinet post in the United Arab Emirates and one of the few women there to hold an advanced IT degree. At the gala, political journalist Ragita Durgam pointed out that as CEO of the online marketplace Tajari.com, Sheikha Lubna al Qasimi is known throughout the world. A very public persona, she hopes will inspire other women in the Arab world to scale similar heights. Sheikha Lubna al Qasimi. Thank you very much. What a great privilege and an honor for me to be here today in the company of great women. Thank you, new, um, uh, Women in News. Um, when I took this path of technology and a destiny in 1975 as a kid who wanted to come to the U.S. and study technology, it never occurred to my mind that my life would unfold, that at one day I would become a political advocate for women's and women's rights uh, and actually to represent my country politically. Technology is a great agent for change. I do believe the internet is a good gender equalizer, and it's an, it's an enabler for access for women in many aspects. But what's most important part for me is actually the role that I played for young women at home. In addition to my role as a technology person, I really put time for speaking to young women and um, driving a lot of them and encourage them to um, uh, study technology. Today, the number of women in science and technology in the United Arab Emirates has surpassed the number of men. And that I am very proud of. <laughs> but my life took a sharp turn after September 11th, because the event in itself, as much as it angered me for the faith of people who had died here, it also created anger in my heart because I felt that my society, as a Muslim society, as an Arab, was sabotaged and hijacked. And instead of taking this in a bad way or negatively and um, not coming to the US or to the West, I took initiative of coming to speak here in the US all the time. A lot of people in the West look at women with bailing and they think it's a stigma. They never believe that this cover that we have in our head is actually a choice that we carry. It is not something to do with a sign of oppression. It is a choice that we believe in, and it's left for the women to choose that. In my belief, media can help the Arab, the Middle East, and the Muslim societies to actually advance and recognize the role of women. But it has to be done right. And I am here to say that to all of you, because I do believe that it is the, it's the media that's going to make that change. Thank you very much. Thank you.